I want to welcome you to the Ask Jeff YouTube channel. Here's today's question. Will we have a relationship with my loved ones in heaven or will our relationship with Jesus overpower everything? I know Jesus said there's no marriage in heaven. We're like the angels. Well, that is a great insight and question. And that passage that was referred to is Matthew chapter 22, verse 30. Now, let me set the stage for that verse because the, the question is posed by the Sadducees. They did not believe in eternity, a heaven or a hell. They believe that life on earth is all one experiences. We know the biblical record is very contrary too. So they tried to trick Jesus and spoke of a story where a woman is married to an individual who passes away. She then marries his brother and down the line, she marries all seven brothers. And the question is, whose wife will she be in heaven? And Jesus says, you err not knowing the scriptures and then goes on to say, we'll be as the angels and not married. Essentially confirming that relationships here are very different than relationships there. But the main question is, will we, quote, know each other? It's fascinating. The book of Revelation chapter 2, it says that one day in glory, it says that we have a new name. First John chapter 3 talks about a new body. But I want to I give you a fascinating illustration. Matthew chapter 17, Jesus appears on the Mount of Transfiguration. You got Peter, James, and John there getting ready, and it says that two other people appear. Now, we're told it's Moses and Elijah. Here's what's fascinating. We're told because Peter, James, and John knew they were Moses and Elijah. Now, I can just imagine they did not have name tags that said, hello, my name is Moses. They had not seen pictures of these two. They had not seen drawings of these two. How did they know that it was Moses and Elijah? Well, I believe that when we are in a glorified state, our relationships may be changed per Matthew 22, 30. But I think that we will all know each other in an absolute amazing way, irrespectively of how we've known each other in previous earthly days. Oftentimes we long for spousal, familial, friendly relationships. But let me put it in context. One day when we're in heaven as believers, there are literally billions of people that we've never laid eyes on throughout all of time that we'll instantly be eternal brothers and sisters. And I think there's biblical evidence. We may not have the same relationship, but we will be known as we are known. First John chapter three, verse two. Great question. If you have one, send to askjeff.net. Maybe your question be tomorrow's. Thanks for being a part of today's daily question. Now we answer a question each and every day. Please feel free to submit a new question at askjeff.net. Net. We may not have gotten to yours today, but we eventually will continue to be a part of this. Subscribe so you don't miss out on a question every day.